on the shores of ancient Lebanon in 332 BCE. Alexander the Great, barely 24 years old, is staring at what seems like an impossible target, the city of Tyre, perched defiantly on an island half a mile into the Mediterranean Sea. Its walls rise 150 feet straight up from the water. The Tyrians are laughing at him from those walls. They've sent envoys basically saying, sure, young king, you can make sacrifices at our temple. If you can reach it, bad move. If there's one thing you don't do, it's dare Alexander of Macedon. Here's the problem. Alexander has no navy, Tyre does. The city has never fallen in its 700 year history. But Alexander looks at the ocean between him and those walls and declares something that makes his engineer's jaws drop. We'll build a road across the sea. His men think he's lost his mind. Build a causeway across half a mile of open water while under constant attack with waves that could wash away months of work in a single storm. Impossible. But Alexander has a secret weapon, pure, unrelenting stubbornness. They start by sinking stone pillars into the sea. The Tyrians respond by sending ships to rain arrows on the workers. Alexander builds two massive siege towers just to protect his men. The Tyrians send fire ships packed with burning sand, ancient napalm, and destroy them both. Then Alexander steamrolls an entire forest. Every tree for miles is cut down and dumped into the sea. His men sink whole buildings, boulders, anything they can find to build this impossible road. The Tyrians counter by sending divers to tie ropes to the trees and drag them away. Alexander responds by anchoring the trees with massive stones. For every problem he finds a solution, the causeway inches forward. But then, the water gets too deep, the current too strong. Alexander's generals suggest giving up. Instead, he does the unthinkable. He builds a navy from scratch. While keeping the causeway project going, he somehow convinces the nearby cities to loan him their ships. He now has 223 warships surrounding Tyre. The siege becomes a brutal engineering duel. When the Tyrians drop massive blocks into the sea to block his approach, Alexander builds giant cranes to fish them out. When they pour boiling sand on his men, he designs shields to deflect it. When they send sharpened logs to impale his workers, he cuts them up underwater with massive saws. Finally, after seven months, Alexander's causeway reaches the city walls. But he's not done innovating. He mounts his siege towers on ships, creating the world's first floating artillery. The Tyrians watch in horror as these massive towers, taller than their walls, sail toward them from multiple directions. The final assault is devastating. Alexander's forces breach the walls from both the causeway and the sea. The city that had never fallen in seven centuries falls in a single day.